Okay. There are a couple ways to do this, but what I'm going to do is distribute. Remember when we had distributed property? We may not do the whole worksheet, but we're going to spend a day working on this. Okay, you guys. Do you remember how we had to multiply those out? Oh, we've forgotten. Okay, well, this will be on your exam, too. So, we're going to multiply these together. You guys should do it with me. So, what's 5 times x? First copy the problem. It's the other side of your worksheet. Yeah, let me see your picture. Uh, not quite right, but... Okay, so what do we get? What do you happen to you get 5 times x? Dominic? What happens? So you get 5x. That's easy. I like that. I like easy. And then you have to multiply the 5 times the 4. Trust me, they get hard fast on this worksheet. What's 5 times 4? 20. What operation is going to go in here? Whatever's here is going to go right there. Okay, Adine, what's this going to give us now? Equals 40. What do we do next? Subtract 20. So it's the same kind of thing, but you're not going to, you may have a, I don't know if you have fractional answers, but you're not going to be dealing with fractions like you did on that last worksheet. So minus 20, minus 20. I've colored pencils and things like that if you want to use those. So on this piece of paper, you copy the problem. Just one problem at a time. I have lots and lots of paper. It's not an issue because I keep messing up when I copy things. Okay, hey, what happens? What are you left with? Josh, what are we left with? 5x. Good. And you check. Don't assume you did this right. Always check. Does that give me 0? Yes, but some of you are doing plus 20 here. And when you check it, you go 20 and 20 is 40. Oh, I made a mistake. It's not 0, but in this case it is. And what's 40 take away 20? 20. Now, I can finish this problem without showing my work. But if you have to show your work, show your work. How do you undo multiplying by 5? Dividing by 5. And I'm left with, well, on the left side, my goal is always to have just 1x, which I do. What's x equal to? Close, 4. And we could check. Now, this one's not bad to check. I put 4 back in here. Is 5 times 4 plus 4. Is that equal to 40? Personally, I wouldn't distribute that. I would just add it. What's 4 and 4? 8. Is that 40? Yes. I'm going to put a little check there. I'm not going to ask you to check these. It's enough work just to do these. That's the reason why I give you the puzzles, because if you don't see your answer up here, you know you did it wrong. Even if you do see your answer up here, you still could have done it wrong. Let's do, now that was for letter I. Let's do letter E. Well, then don't do the, just look at the problems. I'll just cut off the problems and let you look at the, just the problems. And have no answers. This is nice to check. Oh, by the way, was, was that answer there for? Yes, it is. It's in the second row. So it gives, it's an answer key. Let's do E. Negative 2. Now we're going to get negatives. This is why this is going to be hard. And by the way, this is hard for all the students. The students who have had algebra for years and years will mess this up as well because they're not, not careful with their signs. So we're going to distribute that. So everybody should have it copied. You have it copied? You should work ahead of me. Um, and you're not going to, and Andrew, you're not going to, you have to do it on the piece of paper because not enough room. Trust me, when you get down here, there's not enough room. Look at all that. Okay, so what are we going to get here? Adam, you want to help me out with this one? Want to help me out with this one? What's negative 2 times 3? God, you do know it. <laughs> negative 6y. Here's the mistake. Here's where my students, all grade levels, doesn't matter, make the mistake right there. And you guys have done a really good job with this, by the way. What's a negative 2 times a negative 7? Not negative. Positive 14 equals 56. This is the foundation of, of what you're going to do in calculus. Calculus. Algebra. Well, you can do some of this in calculus, too. Luckily, in calculus, they don't get to be quite so hard. Now what are we going to do? 
Okay, let's do plus 14. Why do I want to do plus 14? Because when you check it, do you get zero? Do I get zero here when I add 14 and 14? No, so I, I caught my mistake. Right, but some of you blindly go, oh, that's zero, but it's not zero. You have to check it. So there, now if I make it negative, it's zero. Then what's 56 take away 14? 42. Why did I change what? No, this is a negative times a negative is a positive. Because we multiply, because this is a negative 2 times a negative 7. So you've got to take the sign through 2, and I know that's what, where the, that's the hard part. But there's other hard parts coming up too. Okay, what do we do next? Divide by negative 6. So what do I get? Corey, see, you're getting this. Well, that's good. Why? I didn't give you switch last time, I don't think. What's 42 divided by negative 6? Negative 7. Is it easy to make a sign mistake? Very easy. And is negative 7 in my, uh, my choice is up there? I don't even care if you do the puzzle, but negative 7 is up there actually a few times. So I think I did it right. I could check it. Well, why don't you try C? I'm going to walk around. It's a negative 7. Mm -hmm. It's hard to see the negative signs up there on the top. At least for me it is. So first you copy the problem on another piece of paper. And then give it a try. This one's not too bad, but I want to, you know. But I'll come around and see. <clears throat> and since we don't want this is... Can you add 1 and 4w? Can you add the 1 and 4w? No. They're not alike. We're going to get some things later on. It's going to get harder. What's this give us? 6. I hate that one again. This is 6. And then we do this. What's the sign going to be, positive or negative? Andrew, what's this going to give me? Negative what? 24W equals negative 18. This way, this is going to be hard. Now, I could give you the calculator so I can show you how the calculator will work with this. I'm not going to give you the, how to use the calculator to solve it. But what do you think you have to do next? 20, what do you have to do next? Add 18. We can do this. Okay, Adine? This is 24 minus 24W equals 0. Remember, I want W all by itself. It's not wrong. Just didn't get W by itself. What do you want to do now? It's not wrong. I want W all alone. Now, I have, still have adding here, by the way. So I have to get rid of all the adding first. Remember that? So what am I going to do next? Dominic? No, no dividing. Got to get rid of adding, subtracting first. Because where we're going tomorrow is variables on both sides, so we got to get this. How about if I add a 24W to both sides? Can I, can I add 24W to nothing? Sure. So, this is 24 equals, because that's zero, right? There's zero, right? <laughs> and 24W plus zero is 24W. And then what do we do? Divide by 24. Now, it would have been faster, not better. So what's W equal to? No, divide. Not subtraction. That's where the bar is. It's right here. It's 1. Math tells you what to do. I would have subtracted 6 from both sides. That's what I would have done. But that's okay. Well, it looks like I still got to stay at the board and do some more. Now you guys copy the next problem. What I'm going to do, and the next problem is a little harder. This is F. 
if you look over at D, right, across from it, you're going to have a, a lot of troubles with those. But next year, things are going to be even harder yet. So, I'm really just looking for exposure on some problems that are of this difficulty. Whoa, what do we do now? First, you copy it. Dean, do you have it copied down? No. <laughs> copy the problem. You get your copy down? Yeah. And what are you going to do first? No. You can't. You got a parenthesis there. The expression is removing the parentheses. Is yours copied down? No. You need to copy it down. Do you have yours copied? Because I can't move on until you copy it, Corey. That's right. And then you're going to add those, add the things you can. Okay. No, you're not. I don't know what the problem is today. Add those to it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now this is going to be a challenge here. So what's the first thing you're going to do? You're going to distribute. Now what are you going to do with this? Add those together because you can't. Don't you like to do things because you can? Just because you can, right? Now you're going to distribute that. And you're going to distribute that. And Lindsay, did you try distributing it yet? you got to do distributed property first. You have to do those multi... Remember parentheses? we got to do those parentheses first. So what are you going to do when you do this? Corey, what am I going to get? What are you going to get? 8x, that's right. Now what? Don't forget the five. The dean, what do I get next? Well, yes, you do. What's four times five? So see, you do. Confidence. Now, I'm not going to solve yet because there are things there that I can add or subtract. However you look at adding and subtracting the same thing. These guys are the same. Can I go ahead and add those or subtract them? Yeah. What, I, what does that give me? 8x plus 12 equals 36. Honestly, all the equations have to boil down to something that looks like that. You have a letter plus something added to it equals something over there. You always combine similar terms. Now I can try to solve it. This is not solving. This is simplifying. I'm making it an easier problem. Okay. So uh, what do I want to minus? You're right, I want to minus something. I want to minus the 12. So, Cora, you need to do this. No. You don't have anything written down. <laughs> and so what do I get here? 8x equals what? Do you subtract this? 24. Then, what are we going to do next? Divide by 8. And if you notice, it's always the same process. So after a while, you should get quick at this. X equals, I check, that's 1. What's X equal to? Remember what solve means. I'm trying to find the number. I can put it back in there to make it true. And so 3, let's see if it's in my picture here. I don't see a 3. Did I make a mistake? I copy it wrong. Yeah, it is. There's only one 3 in there. What letter is it? Oh, that's because it's an F. Okay, should we try A? You guys should be doing this without me. I should be helping you. So first, we copy the problem. This might be a little bit of a pro uh, hard. I don't know. You tell me. We always remove parentheses first. I actually had some student one time take their eraser and erase the parentheses. <laughs> that was pretty clever, I thought. Okay, we remove parentheses by multiplying that out. It's distributed property of multiplication over addition. You have to do this first. 
And, you know, math isn't, you guys don't find math easy. I don't know that you don't find it easy. I think you just don't like it. <laughs> There's a difference. That doesn't mean you can't do it. But the better, more you do these, the easier they get. So do you have it copied? So I'll wait. Dominic, do you have this one copied? This is A. No, we're moving on. I'm going to have to have to help you, I think, with N or S. S is really a tough one. S is hard. So try that. Try distributing that. I know. She says her makeup out. Have you copied it? Good job. And yeah, keep trying. Okay, so here's the first thing. We have 10 minus, what's 2 times negative 3? Don't forget to distribute the 2. It's a 6. Okay. This is where it's going to get hard. We have to combine similar terms. Which ones are alike? <coughs> These are the same things. They both have these in them. Okay, so the 10 is staying there. What kind of 3? Positive or negative? Positive. 3B equals 28. Now it's just like all the other ones. What are you going to add or subtract to both sides? Which ones are alike? The 28 is like the 10. So I want to get the 10 with the 28. I don't want the 10 over there. So am I going to add 10, Dominic, or am I going to subtract 10? Subtract 10. Good job. And then what do I get? 3v equals 18. Divide by 3. I'm okay if you don't show the dividing by 3, if you just tell me v equals 6. If you can get to that point, I think that's great. Honestly, even after all the years I've done algebra, which is a long time, I still write that out because I just want to make sure I get that right. Some of you do it on the same line, it's fine. You can do it on the same line. But minus 10, minus 10. It doesn't matter. Okay, you ready for a tough one? The next one's tough. Um, you got a lot of these. You look at T, T looks difficult too. But S is tough. <laughs> First, I'm going to copy it. Because some of you are going to want to subtract the 7 and the 3, and you can't do that. Oh, it erased the whole thing. Because you have to do the parentheses first. You have to distribute. You can't add the 7 and 3. Because it isn't 3. It's 3 times that. But it's not even three times that. What kind of three is it? You got a copy? Did you do it? Try it. What kind of three is it? Is it positive or negative? It's a negative. So if I make this plus a negative, maybe you'll take the sign to like you're supposed to. <laughs> then I'll distribute that with this one and with that one. So it's a negative. So I'm, I'm sure that that's where we have mis lots of mistakes. So you're supposed to be copying these down. Otherwise, you're going to have to go home and do all that. And who wants to do that? These are free problems. Don't subtract the 7 and 3. No. Yes. And then you add the You got it. It's hard, isn't it? It's hard.
So, it's seven. Oh, I don't want to use red. It's seven, and then what's a negative three times a positive five? Negative 15 P. What's a negative three times a negative 10? Plus 30 equals 67. Okay. That to me is the hard part right there. Let's get the distributed property going there and then what's similar over here. What things are alike? A 7 and not the T but the 30. It's a positive 30. It's good. <laughs> what's that give me? 30 plus 7 is what? Okay, what's 30 at 7 is 37. Minus 15t equals 67. Now it looks like all the other problems I've been doing. Stick them all. Actually, you know what to subtract or get rid of? And this is the one I want to get rid of, okay? The 37, minus 37. Is that going to give me zero? Yeah. Okay. So I do minus 37 here. And they just follow the directions. It tells you what to do. That gives you zero. No, I can't because they're not alike. What kind of t 15t is this? Can we positive or negative? Remember last year, everybody wanted to drop that negative sign. No, no, no. Can't do that. So negative 15t equals a positive 30. So this is easier here on that worksheet than yes, that last Friday's was. Because you had fractions. No fractions here. What do we do next? What do we do next? <laughs> Ryan, what do I do next? <laughs> Divide by negative 15. So t equals 30 divided by negative 15 is negative 2. Aren't you thankful I'm not making you check this? Even I don't want to check it. But if it were a test, I would do that. For a test. I would definitely check it. Kind of ugly. Well, why don't you guys try the next one? What do I have to do to both sides? Corey? No? I want to solve 8x plus 12 equals 36. What do you have to do to both sides? Subtract 12, right? Well, I can tell the calculator I want it to subtract 12, and it'll do it for me. Takes the arithmetic out of it. But I have to know that we subtract 12. And the calculator doesn't know any other way to show it but this way. I don't particularly care for it, but it's okay. It's taking 12 from both sides. And now what do you do? Now what do you do next? 8x equals 24. What would you do next? Lindsay, do you know what you'd do next? 8 times a number is 24. How would you undo multiplying? Divide by what? That's right. Yeah. Divide by 8. Shows the dividing by 8 on both sides, kind of. Again, I don't like the way it does it. It tells me x is 3. I don't think it'll take the full problem, but I do want you to know how to do parentheses. So if I take, let's take 15. 50h, which is a top of the column because this is a tough one. But I don't think it's going to do this for me. Minus, it might, we'll see. 4m minus 5. It tells me, I think you want parentheses there. And I say, guess what? You're right. Equals 32. Now I have these calculators. And look what it does. It does it for me. It took this, distributed, and simplified. How do you solve this? Keaton, how do I solve this? Well, what do I do next? i got to get rid of which number? The 20. How do I get rid of 20? Subtract 20. So I don't want to do the arithmetic. I'm lazy today. So minus 20. It'll do it for me. Now what do I do? Josh, 
I have negative 4 times something is 12. I don't want that negative 4 there. Divide by negative 4. Who wants a calculator? Nobody? Does all the arithmetic. You want a calculator? Justice? There's some problems. You have to show some steps. Just the black and the gray ones. Why is this over here? It has to be this CAS calculator. Tomorrow I was going to go today. But you guys kind of like, blah. 